Imagine you're alone in your home one night, and suddenly, your phone begins to ring. You look over and don't recognize the number, so you ignore it and go back to what you were doing. Moments later, you receive a text message. When you open the message, you are presented with graphic imagery of gory photos. You feel sick to your stomach, thinking this is some sort of twisted prank. But before you can even finish your thoughts, another text comes through that says your full name and address. The messages that follow chill you to your core. This feels like a scenario out of a horror movie, but situations exactly like this have been happening to plenty of totally ordinary people for a long time. One of the more recent incidents of this happened not even a couple of weeks ago when a user on Reddit made a post to the RBI subreddit where they claimed that they were just watching Netflix when they received a text message of a gore picture along with a link that also appears to lead to a gore page. This person immediately blocked the number. From what they told me, the pictures they were sent didn't just show gore, but also a picture of kids that were tied up. As unnerving as the situation was, this is actually one of the more fortunate victims of this scenario, given that after blocking the number, all further communication ceased. Other people weren't as lucky. Six days prior to this, another Reddit user made a post saying they randomly received a text that included two gore images along with their first and last name. Other than this, nothing else was said, making the sender's motives unclear. About eight months prior to that, there was a post from another Reddit user claiming the same exact scenario, except the severity was taken a step further. This person woke up one morning to see that they'd received text messages from a random number that included several different depictions of gory imagery, along with a threatening text message that said, If you don't respond in two minutes, your whole family will pay in blood. Shook by the situation, he blocked the number and tried to just forget about it and go to school. Suddenly, another number calls him four times, which he also blocks. These are only a few of the many cases of this occurring. Almost all of these cases have their own subtleties that make them unique. Sometimes they just receive the gore images, other times they receive their full name and address, and in some instances, they were even left strange voicemails with things like music playing in the background. As I'm sure you're thinking right now, Despite how shocking this is when it happens to someone, it is actually typically nothing to worry about. This is a fairly well-known scam that has been making its rounds in several news sources for the past few years. This is a terrifying and believable scam that takes things to a whole new level. Horrible and disturbing images sent to neighbors. Pictures of mutilated bodies and decapitated bodies. Criminals somehow get a hold of your photo and even your home address. It's referred to as the cartel scam. It involves someone sending you a threatening message, including pictures of gore, along with your name and address. They threaten to hurt you unless you pay them. Now, one interesting detail you might notice from this text exchange on screen is this particular line here. I've noticed that in a lot of these scams, this line referring to one of their girls is fairly common. The reason being is that one of the most common groups of people that fall victim to this scam are people that are using escort services, which is kind of lame if you ask me. If you just take care of yourself properly, you won't need to resort to such services. And one great place to start is your scent, believe it or not. So I've never really been into like colognes and perfumes and stuff like that, up until I started to actually hang out with people that did wear that kind of stuff. And then I was like, okay, that smells pretty good. <laughs> so I decided to just kind of take a deep dive into the whole world of cologne and whatnot, except I'm pretty new to this, so I'm kind of still in my like discovery phase of trying to find out what I like and what I don't like. So these here are the first four colognes that I actually got from Scentbird. So I got Atlantis by Blue Atlas, and Eloisa by JUS, Amor Cafe by Mensera, and then Black by Zer Icon. So the Blue Atlas and the Zer Icon ones were actually really good scents. Um, there were really a lot of floral notes in there. These are ones that I could pretty much see myself wearing like every single day. I can't really think of a single occasion where this wouldn't make sense to wear. But the one that really blew me away was uh, Amour Cafe. I actually, my nose is burning because I got a little carried away with this one earlier. Uh, but this one's really good. It, it kind of reminds me of like, when you go into like a candles uh, store and you go to like the, the bakery section, it's kind of like that. And especially the vanilla scent in there uh, was interesting because usually I hate vanilla scents. Uh, whenever I've been around people that wear like vanilla perfume or cologne, it smells like death to me. But 
this one didn't. This was actually good. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy that I've had Scentbird kind of guide me along with my first, uh, you know, endeavor into the world of colognes. I feel like they've been especially useful for people like me that are kind of new to this and don't really know what we're after yet. So first of all, the stuff is really affordable. You get your first fragrance for only $8 and the next month it's $16.95. And of course, what's good if you're new like me, you can just buy them in like these little bottles like this. You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on these like entire bottles that a lot of other places do. And of course, with that size comes convenience. I mean, look at how, how tiny this thing is. And also, I mean, they come with these cool little, little pouches here that you can just slide them into. So they're really easy to bring with you anywhere. And of course, one thing I think is going to help me with all of this is that you can actually make selections based on your preferences. And they also have like a quiz so they can kind of align you with like what's going to be in your taste. So it's pretty much impossible to not find something that you're going to like. So if you are interested in trying Scentbird, you can use my code SCARE or click the link in the description and get 55% off at Scentbird. I think it's a pretty good deal. You can get the product for literally half off, which is just eight bucks. So I think that's a steal. So uh, just use the code SCARE or click the link in the description to get 55% off at Scentbird. Now let's head back into this video. This text on screen was sent to this Reddit user shortly after he met up with an escort, but ended up canceling last minute for whatever reason. Now, I think it's actually pretty clever for the scammers to specifically target men who are visiting escorts. For one, it makes the threat seem less random, hence more real. I would definitely feel a little more freaked out if I received this text in this type of scenario than I would if I received it totally at random. In addition, it probably makes the person receiving the threat less likely to actually tell anyone about it out of the embarrassment of seeking out escort services, or possibly it could be a scenario of someone cheating on their wife, in which case they definitely wouldn't want anyone finding out. And believe it or not, it actually works. I've seen several instances of someone actually paying up after receiving these threats, one of which ended up paying thousands of dollars before finally deciding that enough was enough. It's pretty crazy what fear can do to someone. What I do find a little bit odd about this though is that not all of the texts that people received like this were accompanied by any sort of threats or requests for money. Maybe these people were waiting for a response first before they made the requests, but I wouldn't at all be surprised if there were just some people out there who weren't trying to scam at all and they genuinely just got their kicks from sending stuff like this to random people. There are definitely people like that out there, but believe it or not, there are actually some even more bizarre cases of strange phone incidents that I think are even more eerie than this. You've probably been butt dialed before and answered your phone to hear random noise from whoever it was that accidentally called you but I'm sure you've never experienced anything like what this Reddit user experienced five years ago. In their post, they detail how they got a phone call from a number that rang just once before hanging up. An hour later, they noticed that a voicemail was left. When they listened to it, this is what they heard. It's real quiet, but you can clearly hear what sounds like a woman in the background groaning and crying. After listening to the message, they called the number back, only to be greeted by a sales representative. When they explained the voicemail they just received, the sales rep said they too received a similar call. Unfortunately, not much could be done, and they were never really truly able to get to the bottom of this. Another user just last year went through a brief stint of receiving equally unnerving calls from an unknown number. In his post, he details that his friend has been receiving odd calls from a private number for the past two days. The first call lasted only 30 seconds, and it was just the sound of rustling from someone moving their phone around. The second call was a bit more of a surprise. It started with a few seconds of silence, followed by the beginning audio of the Lincolnshire Poacher number station for about a minute before the call came to an end. The third phone call they were prepared for and actually managed to record. This is what awaited them when they answered this time. Hello. 
The call seemed to stop after this, and once again, they never got a clear answer. Finally, we have another user from five years ago who also received a series of abnormal phone calls from a private number. This person claimed to receive 17 calls, and of them, they answered three and recorded two. The first of the two that they recorded was actually nothing that weird and could easily be written off by a random butt dial by a stranger. <laughs> the second one, however, was much stranger. Now, given that these particular recordings are from random strangers on Reddit, it's obviously never a bad idea to keep a healthy sense of skepticism. I'm sure that a lot of these types of posts are just people making stuff up, especially that last one since the screaming we heard at the end was later discovered to be a soundbite taken from the Zazu condom commercial. But that aside, I have no doubt that at least some of these are real. Instances of people receiving distressing phone calls, particularly featuring a woman screaming or crying, are surprisingly common. In fact, one particular phone number from Jordan seems to be responsible for a massive amount of these calls. This particular number has over 400 reports from people, almost all of which report receiving a call where they heard a woman crying or begging for help on the other side of the phone. So what the hell is this? The reason for these is yet another scam that is often referred to as the One Ring Scam. The way this works is that the scammer will set up or rent a premium rate phone number that charges high fees for calls. Many of these premium rate phone services will offer a revenue sharing agreement with the owner of the number. So the goal of the scammer is to call people and keep them on the line for as long as possible to rack up their phone bill and get a portion of that profit. This could include tactics like leaving strange voice messages to get the victim to call them back, or to call someone and play sounds of a distressed woman to keep the person on the line to help them. It's a pretty messed up tactic, but it's been happening for a while. In fact, in 2017, the podcast Reply All released an episode talking about this exact scam specifically. As ominous as these occurrences can be, the true explanations are something a little less than extraordinary. So next time you receive a call from an unknown number, at best it could just be a prank call, and at worst it could be a scammer threatening to kidnap and kill your entire family. Either way, it's probably best to just not pick up. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the flip side. And once again, big thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check them out and use my code SCARE to get 55% off.